Freiburg, this microplastics thing, we talked about it on the show. And uh, since that time, I refuse to open plastic bottles. I'm doing all glass. I'm getting rid of all this goddamn plastic. I, I already did glass bottles in my house because I'm cheap. And I like to fill it from my water filter. But we're uncovering more information. And then I saw this headline this week that microplastics are in our blood streams in some cases. And what the heck does that mean? It's worse than that. Team of scientists in Italy collected samples from patients that had plaque removed from the carotid artery. It's a kind of common cardiac procedure where you get plaque that blocks up in your carotid. They go in, they remove the plaque. So a total of 304 patients agreed to have the plaque that was removed from their artery submitted for analysis. And then what this team did is they took that plaque and they studied it to see how much plastic was found in that plaque. And they used a bunch of measurement techniques to do this, including electron microscopy and mass spec. So they, they, cause it's really hard to find these molecules and microplastics or nanoplastics, remember are less than five millimeters in size with a mean level of 21 micrograms per milligram of plaque, roughly one per 50 is the ratio of plastic to plaque that they found which is really incredible because it shows that plastics, these little nano and microplastics are accumulating- Incredible good or incredible bad? Incredible bad. That these microplastics, these nanoplastics are accumulating in the human body. Now here's the, the scary part. They then did a follow-up 34 months later. The patients that had plastic in their blood had a four and a half times higher ratio or likelihood of having a heart attack, stroke, or death from any cause. So all of these major health effects were four and a half times elevated in patients that had plastic in their blood. And this was published in the New England Journal of Medicine, if I didn't say it. It really indicates that there is this kind of cumulative problem and that the cumulative problem is likely leading to really adverse health outcomes. And I'll just highlight one other paper from a team in Germany and Norway back in May of 2022. And this team tried to figure out how plastics are causing adverse health effects in the body. And they had a theory like, let's put little microplastics or nanoplastics together with all the human cells that we know, shake it up and see what happens. And what they found was that these little plastic fragments were binding to dendritic cells and monocytes, key cells in the immune system. And when those cells were um, bound by plastic, they release these cytokines and the pro-inflammatory signals go through the roof. It causes the immune system to go haywire, increases inflammation, and the cascading effects of that obviously can ultimately lead to many of the events that we're mentioning were measured in this set of patients in Italy. So um, again, we're just starting to uncover these effects, this concept that microplastics and nanoplastics that are accumulating, and let me just say, these plastics are mostly PET, which is what we use to make plastic bottles that we drink water and drinks out of, and PVC or polyvinyl chloride, which is what a lot of our plastic plumbing and piping is made from. And so as little tiny bits of these plastic materials either are exposed to sunlight and break off and end up in our water and food supply and we consume them, they are slowly accumulating in, in bodies and they may be driving inflammatory response, they may be driving adverse health outcomes. We're really kind of tip of the iceberg and really studying this, understanding and analyzing it. But here's another really interesting empirical data set that highlights that this really is um, a pretty significant, half the patients had it. And of that half, they had a four and a half times higher chance of dying or having a heart attack or a stroke in the 34 months that followed. Yeah, the, really the, thing, data. Yeah. the thing the thing that that study said, which was nuts, is it it looked like the the nanoparticles, the nanoplastics and microplastics were effectively acting as scaffolding for plaque. So it, in in almost like it was a it was a shim that allowed it to grow. The question is, would it have grown faster than it would have otherwise? That's even scarier. So I did not like reading that paper. That really freaked me out. Really, really freaked me out. I was drinking water from plastic water bottles this week, and every time I drink water out of a plastic bottle now, I'm like, like nervous every time I take a sip. You're not supposed to double your the risk of all-cause mortality by drinking yeah. a Fiji water. You know what I mean? Four and a half X. Four and a half X. Fr yeah. It's crazy. In 34 months. Think about the cumulative effect over time. Over, over time. a longer period. Yeah. 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 Imagine drinking water out of a plastic bottle, thinking you're doing the right thing, and then trotting over to the recycling bin. You know, <laughs> yeah. And you do that for twenty years, 
you may be killing yourself. Well, there it is. So wait, what's the, if you, if you, if the water. Glass bottles. Yeah. You must use, you cannot use plastic. You just it's cannot. Over. No plastic. No plastic. You can't. You got to stop. It's over. We're it's drinking. done. It's done. Glass, cans, good. Plastic. Cans are Stainless okay. steel. Stainless Polish steel is fine. Just like I mentioned when we talked about this a few weeks ago, the carbon footprint, the environmental cost, the cash cost is much higher with all these alternatives to plastic. So there are big challenges with respect to having some big, massive response to plastics used in our supply. But, you know, living in the luxury world that we all get to live in, we get to have that choice and we'll make that choice. But it's a real problem for humanity because plastics are so ubiquitous in so many things. And they've they've enabled... They've enabled affordability of consumer goods. This is such bullshit. Honestly, like all you have to do is have glass bottles or carry a water bottle with you. Like I have a Contigo one I like. I carry it with <laughs> me. I empty it. No, I but fill J. It. J. Cal, J. And then I have, you, I have a you, water but, filter in my house and we fill water bottles and put them in the fridge. No, but what if you like yogurt? Yogurt comes in a plastic container. There's all kinds of stuff. You no, can't avoid plastic. That's yeah. what's so scary. I'm, we try to. In That's what's house. so scary. We we do have a French yogurt that comes in glass bottles. But yes, it is hard. Ah, uh, yes, but we do the water, French yogurt in glass it's bottles. So great. I mean, it's, it's so good. So nice. It's delicious. Wait, where do you get it from? <laughs> There's a French There's like, yogurt that comes in glass oh, bottles. French in a glass yogurt. bottle. But how yeah, do we get water? It's called, in it's called like Le, Le, Sorry, Le, how do we Le get Benoit wa- or something? Le Benoit? No water. Water. You just install a filter system, which you have yes. at the mausoleum, and just fill huge glass bottles. Just have your staff fill glass bottles and put them in the fridge and don't throw them away. And give your kids like some of these thermoses or whatever, but don't have the water bottles. Yeah, like, you it's, know, it's so funny. It's been a disaster in the poker game in some ways. We got rid of it and there's been way more broken glass. People knock over the, you know, the the side tables. I get it. It's been a huge pain, but I will not go back. No, it's the right thing no. to do. Absolutely. It's the right thing to do. Okay, Absolutely. well, if, if Jamath is endorsing this, I guess I'm going to take it seriously i think you got to do it my opinion doesn't matter sex i'm not saying you're wrong i'm just saying that your threshold for becoming concerned is lower and then if Chama- if it hits Chama's threshold which is higher huh. i'm gonna take it more seriously as your bestie i would like you to stop using plastic for 100%. the rest of your life okay Please. you're in a position to do it i would ask you to not do it